Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I want to show you the Impulse Train module in M Sound Factory. So it was actually added a while ago, but I don't think many people talked about it because I think many people didn't know what it did. And for me, I didn't. In some cases, I, I still don't. But there are some interesting things you can do with it, and I'll show you maybe one or two of them today. So first, let's open it up, and I'll try to explain to you what it is. So the impulse train, if I play it, it just sounds like this. Kind of interesting sound, uh, but you think, okay, what's the difference between that and an oscillator? So the impulse train is actually just playing noise bursts at a certain, uh, I shouldn't say frequency. They're playing at certain intervals, and that's what's uh, creating the pitch. So if I slow it down really slow, let's try like five octaves down, and I play it, you listen to this. You hear it's just that ticking sound, but when they go faster... You know, just like a, you know, like a baseball cards in a bicycle spoke. If anybody, anybody even do that anymore? I don't know. But if you remember those things, you understand what I'm talking about. So basically it does that. And you're probably listening to it and saying, hey, that sounds a lot like a saw wave. And you're actually right. So if I have a saw wave here, impulse train, I think, okay, well, it's pretty much the same, right? We go in here and look in the analyzer. Actually, let me turn these both on so I can switch easily. Here is the impulse train. Now here is the, os or the normal oscillator, the saw wave. The harmonics and everything are exactly the same. The only difference is, if you see here for the saw wave, look how the harmonics decrease in volume as you go up higher. Now, look at the impulse train and look how they rise in volume as they go up higher. And to me, this is kind of an interesting property and there's some interesting things we can do with this. Now, of course, I can just... Ooh, let me turn this on again, sorry. And... We can just add a filter here, so like fast filter, uh, we can filter this here. And we can just use this as a normal saw wave, and in some cases it might sound better, so that's up to you. Uh, there's some other things we can do, like for example a frequency shifter. Now the frequency shifter, you can use this on the normal oscillator, but because the upper harmonics go down in value, or go down in volume as, you know, the harmonics go up, it's sometimes hard to hear it and it needs to be exaggerated, or sometimes you might want it to be exaggerated. But the impulse train doesn't have that problem, so you can get those really high, uh, like out of tune sounds, like similar to a ring modulator or something, by doing that here. So I'm getting like weird like chiptune sounds and things out of this. So that's something, you know, fun you might want to play around with. But I think the most useful thing is probably related to this and using with an oscillator. Well, there's actually something more interesting, but I'll save that for next time. So using this with an oscillator, I can take something like a, let's say, super saw sound here. Let's turn on the unison here. Use this filter. Now that's okay, but oftentimes I think, you know what, I want more high end. Even if I turn the filter, you know, like all the way open, I want more. So I can leave this down here. And then I can use the impulse train here like this as my high end and I can even 
use these together. Like sometimes I might want to turn up the resonance, turn up the analog here, and then sweep through here. It gives it an interesting sound. Actually, turn the unison off for a second. It sounds better without the unison on the oscillator for this. You can get more of the high end. Now let's say, okay, well I want to have that type of sound. You can either use the unison here, but you're thinking like the impulse doesn't sound good. If we change the width, this will detune the left and right sounds and it'll give us closer to the sound we want here like this. And then we can add the unison in here. And of course you can adjust the various levels and things like that to your own taste. But I thought this was an interesting one for people who are wondering like what does the impulse uh, train do? And what can you do with this? This is just a very basic uh, you know, overview of it and some things you might want to do with this, like for a super saw sound with uh, lots of high end. But I'll try to show you some other things you can do with this uh, in future videos. But if you like this, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and check out all the other plugins at meltaprotection.com. Till next time, see you.